this video should be pretty short and pretty self-explanatory here. We have to um, do a couple things before we can get into the area of a triangle. There's some things that you should be able to identify in a triangle that are maybe slightly confusing at first, but um, should be pretty easy to pick up. The two things you're going to need when we eventually find the area of the triangle is a base of the triangle and the height of a triangle. And they're pretty easy to find as long as you follow these two things. The first thing is the height of a triangle is from a base or from like a side of the triangle to the opposite angle. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. And then the height and the base, for it to be the height and the base, have to be perpendicular with each other. Or they have to cross or they have to touch at a 90 degree angle. That's what perpendicular means. It can't be any other angle but a 90 degree angle. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, three different types of triangles here, but this principle applies to any triangle that you're going to see, if you can keep these two things in mind here. So I've just given two examples right here of both of these triangles are acute. They have all acute angles, uh, and they're isosceles. These two sides are the same on both. I put two of them on here for a reason. Um, I wanted to show you maybe two different ways that we could do this. Um, so first of all, we have to pick a base, and it could be one of the sides. Now, some of the sides may not work uh, on some of the triangles, and you'll see why in a minute. But I'm just going to start. This looks like the easiest thing for the base. So I'm just going to color that in right there just so I know that that's the base. The height of the triangle has to be the opposite angle that the base is. So for instance, if this is the base, the opposite angle to the base would be right here. And usually I just draw a dotted line to show what the height would be. Now the last thing to make sure this is actually a base and actually a height, these two have to be perpendicular, and they are. These, the, the base and the height form a 90 degree angle. So that would be one example of base and height for this triangle. Now, another one could be like this. I could call the base this. And of course, my opposite angle to this would be over here. Now, the thing is, you've got to make sure that when you draw the line from the base to the, for the height to the opposite corner, it's got to be perpendicular. So, for example, if you do this, that does not make a right angle. Over here we have an acute angle, we've got an obtuse angle. It has to form a right angle. It's got to be perpendicular. So you may want to go like this. Now you've got your right angle right there. And it's interesting because when we start finding the area of these, you can pick anything to be the base and the height as long as it makes a perpendicular line. Um, and you'll get the same area is fine. Now another kind of a non-example that I'll show you here is if I would have done this, let's say I would call that the base and I would have done this for the height. The problem with that of course is it doesn't go to the opposite angle. It goes to the opposite side but it's got to go to the opposite angle to be the height so we would have to take that out and we would have to make sure that we draw it like that forms our 90 degree angle right there. So there's one example right there. Now another example. I've got three of the same triangle here. They're all right triangles because we have a right angle in the corner. Okay. They are all scaling triangles. They're all different sides. So I need a base and a height. Now if you have a right triangle you have a built-in base and height because you have a built-in 90 degree angle. I could call this the base right here and then this would, of course, this actual line would be my height right here because this forms a 90 degree angle. I could do this. I could say this is my base. This actual side right here could be my height because that forms a 90 degree angle. Okay? Don't try to do this. Don't try to go from here to here because that does not make a 90 degree angle. You have to make a 90 degree angle. They have to be perpendicular to be base and height. 
and we've got one more option here. Um, I could call this my base, which would be fine. And the height would be, this would be the opposite angle. I just have to make sure I'm making a 90 degree angle. And this may take a couple tries to get, but that's pretty good making my square corner of my 90 degree angle. So there's three different ways on this triangle that you could do this, and it works out just fine. Um, and when we start doing area, you'll see that it doesn't matter which way you do it, you're going to get the same area no matter what, as long as you have a proper base and a height that makes a perpendicular connection there or forms a 90 degree angle. Now here's the last example I'll show you. This is definitely obtuse triangles because we've got our big obtuse angle right here. Um, and this looks to also be scaling because all the sides are different. Now we can do this pretty easily here. I can just say this is the base. and I, This is how I recommend it. There's your base right there. And then if this was my height, just straight up and down there, kind of like that, that forms my 90 degree angle and that would be fine. Now, you can get fancy with this and have it like this. Uh, I could make this my base. Now, if you think about it, the opposite angle, where is that at? The opposite angle would be up here. If I drew that line like that, that's going to be pretty slanted. That's not going to be a 90 degree angle, but it's legal to do this. I can just kind of extend this out a little bit. This won't count as my base, but I can just extend this line out and I can make my height on the outside of the triangle. That makes a right angle, that makes an L shape and a 90 degree angle. So this would be my base right here and my height would be however far this is up and down right here. So those are just three examples. But hopefully with some extra practice coming up here, this is going to be pretty easy for you. Again, just keep in mind, every example I've showed you right here, even with the right triangle, with the isosceles triangle, with the big obtuse triangle, it doesn't matter. As long as you locate a base, you draw the height to the opposite angle, and it forms a 90 degree angle, you can call that your base and height. And we will use this uh, really quick soon coming up here. Uh, in order to find area of a triangle.